everyone, here is the workaround using the DocHub app at DocHub.com. As you can see, if I want to take a secure PDF and I want to share it with my students without the answer keys like you have been requesting during this time we're doing distance learning, what you need to do is open the um, PDF that you would like in your own Google Drive, just like I have here, and you have already needed to have set up an account on DocHub.com. Once you do that, you can see at the top here, if I open with DocHub right here, it will open up. I've already opened one up just for time's sake, so I'm going to move over to the tab where I opened one up. Once the PDF has opened in DocHub, I am not able to edit any of the text or anything, but you can go ahead over here to the page controls on your upper left hand corner and that will show all the pages that are in the secure PDF. And now what you have been asking me is how can I get this document to the students without the answer keys in there. So let's say for example we were having them work on um, the uh, lunar flip book and I don't want to have the pages in there that have the answers on them. All I need to do is right click on that page, delete that page. Yes, I'm going to confirm that is the page that I want to delete. It's going to, of course, ask me, are you sure? Sure enough, it is. So I'm going to go through this entire document or pick out the pages I want for the students. Once I have completed deleting the pages that I don't think are necessary for the students. I'm going to go up here to my upper right hand corner, download export and go ahead now and take this current version and submit it to my Google Classroom. There you're going to get a create share link that you can share with your students in your Google Classroom. And I appreciate you taking the time to do this and sharing it on a secure Google Classroom instead of just sharing it out publicly to not only protect my copyright and trademark, but to protect those of the digital artists that I use as well. So thank you for mu so much for checking out this video. I really hope that helps so you can share these documents with your students. And don't forget, there are still editable Word documents for your notes, your PowerPoints, and your chapter tests that come with all the nitty gritty science materials as well, which you can just share those to your Google Classroom and have the students add text boxes or you can add text boxes yourself. Make sure you keep checking back on your email and and Facebook and Instagram daily for videos and resources that we'll be sharing um, while you're at home distance learning. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.